Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. It is good to see you guys. And today, we're having some fun. I just appeared on Mark Bell's Power Project podcast, and I wanted to show you a clip where we talked about, well, is oatmeal poor people food? Like Paul Saladino and Dave Asprey and a lot of these other fitness influencers try to deceive you and tell you And I accidentally went pretty hard in the paint on this one. Let's check it out here in a minute. All right, so here we're going to show what Mark and... I were discussing. Let, let's just jump in. Let me let Mark just kind of lead the question. Let's listen right now. Tell me what you think. Really, just I think real basic level things that people could do that just make a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Um, some stuff that you share, I've heard you kind of talk about like this four by four idea. Um, and uh, you, you know, uh, expressing to people like they can have a lot of variety in their diet. Yeah. They can be eating beans. They could be eating rice. And, and people are like, no, what about lectins? And, <laughs> yeah. you know, people tend to freak out about all these uh, different things. But um, and you're uh, you uh, you 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 personally, I think, eat like oatmeal and things like yeah. that. And uh, I think Paul Saladino said it's <laughs> for the poor folks or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, let's be mm-hmm. fair here. Paul Saladino was a vegan and failed. And then he went keto and failed. And then he went carnivore and failed. And now he's selling a animal-based program with his business partner, the Liver King. So, I mean, Paul's word is not very credible because, I mean, he's a multiple-time nutrition failure. And now he's had a new widget to sell. So I I have to question Paul's ethics. Mm -hmm. And he's business partners with the Liver King, who in November of last year, two years ago, Paul came out and said he would never work with Liver King again. But they're still in business together because Liver King got outed as being a fraud. So, I mean, his business partner's a fraud. Paul has been proven to, like, well, be a failure. And I would say rather (laughs) incompetent with regards to nutrition. I don't know if you guys are friends with him, but I'm just saying man, the guy was wrong four times, big time. And, and he's you, someone... And you, and you think he's wrong about oatmeal? I know he's wrong about oatmeal. <laughs> because, uh, uh, well, let's just say... I'm sweating. Let me take this <laughs> to, uh, to be clear... <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Show the gains, baby. Let's go. <laughs> hey, it's different when you're... Uh, you know, when you're not only a nutritionist, but you're someone with a background like you have mm-hmm. in wrestling and stuff. It's like I work with the world's greatest athletes. Yeah. Every one of those world class performance, they were eating oatmeal. Their blood work is fucking way better than Paul Saladino. My blood work is way better than Paul Saladino's. This is a dude who had a 500 LDL, right? I mean, let's be honest here and like forget about taking your shirt off in a Whole Foods. I mean, how fucking cringe is that? <laughs> right? Like my wife and my daughter shop in Whole Foods and you got some sweaty, smelly fucking dude with his shirt off trying to fucking grandstand for clicks that from, from an integrity. Now, you look good. Well, I mean, look, we can all take our shirts off and walk around a supermarket, but as a man, that's fucking weird. Like, I don't need the clicks. Like, I don't have such a fragile ego that I have to go out and do those things and kind of beg people for attention. Like there, you look in the background, there are people shopping with their families and you got this dude trying to fucking get clicks so you can then buy his powdered testicle pills. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) whoa, right? Jesus, I did not intend to go so hard in the paint during this appearance. And it just happened that way because I got heated. I got passionate and it was important to tell the truth, right? People like Paul Saladino, Lane Norton, um, David Goggins, Jordan Peterson, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Peter Atia, Andrew Huberman. They all got caught in the crossfire. Now, Only a couple of them I hold in disregard. I like Dr. Jordan Peterson. I I like Dr. Peter Atiyah. I like Dr. Rhonda Patrick. I'm not a fan of Lane because of the 
type of horrible person he is. I'm not a fan of Paul because I think Paul intentionally, intentionally deceives you. The others, I think they made mistakes, but mistakes that should be discussed openly. And that's what we did during that show. And there's a lot of context in that podcast. I strongly urge everyone to go and watch Mark Bell's Power Project podcast. You, you have to listen. I mean, that was just, what, two minutes of a two-plus-hour conversation where Mark and Seema they really pushed me because some areas, they didn't agree with me. They had had different life experiences, and they pushed back on some of the things that I was saying, which I really appreciate because it gave me the opportunity to speak further into the evidence. And I believe each and every time they pushed me, they disagreed with me in the beginning, by the time we got to the end of that conversation point, I believe they all understood exactly what I was saying and agreed in the validity of my point. Now, whether or not they adopt it, well, that's up to you. That's up to them. I don't ask you to adopt my points. I simply ask you to consider what I am saying with an open mind and weigh that against what you are hearing elsewhere. That is my role in your life. My job is to give you the most honest assessment of the information as it is in front of us so you can then determine what is best for you. I am not dogmatically just claiming I am right and everyone's wrong because I said so. I am saying I believe this way is much more effective than that way. And here's a list of the reasons why. Now you go and determine what makes the most sense for you. And I did very clearly call out a lot of the, what I believe to be fraudulent activity from the bad actors inside the fitness community. You just saw a quick glimpse of the way I called out Paul Saladino, the way I called out Lane Norton, very clearly, the way I called out David Goggins when he ruined Tony Ferguson because his ego would not allow him to believe he was not the baddest man on the planet. This is speaking of Goggins. Goggins should apologize for that. But that, that's kind of outside of this. So throw some questions in here. Now, who was it that just asked? Um, Benjamin just asked. He said, hey, Dolce, I want to sign up. Do you have a discount code? Times are hard. I can't afford the full price. Price, Absolutely. And I posted it right here. So if you simply use discount code Mike Dolce Show, all one word, at thedolcediet.com, I will give you a sweet, sweet discount to our four-week or 12-week online diet and exercise program. Happily for you, please take advantage of that. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to just DM me on Instagram. I answer a few hundred questions per day, most especially if you are an online member, ask me a question on IG and I will answer it for you to the best of my ability to do so. Rodney, yo, 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 what's up, man? Good to see you. Seth. Hey, what's up, Seth? What we got here? Boom, F you, Raul. Good to see you, man. Sam, what's up, Sam? Uh, what's the meal run through for the day? Wake up, coffee, cardio, water, um, you know, not so much. It's water, coffee, then cardio, then more water. Today it was a whey isolate. Um, make my breakfast, which is the breakfast bowl. Um, you know, nut seeds, the whole thing you guys know. Um, meal two was chicken and rice and butternut squash. Meal three, I posted on my Instagram today, which was steak, rice, and broccoli. Um, meal four was right here, actually sitting in the office, which was chicken, rice, and broccoli. I'm going to head to the gym after this. I'm going to have a post-workout. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a post-workout in this, the Dolce Diet Sport Shaker, the dual walled stainless steel shaker bottle. This is badass. Go to Dolce Diet Shop to get one. These are in limited supply right now. 
this is, I don't want to say I could, you know, put a bomb in here, but these things so far, they're indestructible. So far, I have not been able to destroy this. I've left this in the car overnight, opened it up. It was a little stinky because the whey protein was still in there, dumped it out, rinsed, rinsed it out with a little soapy water, shook it up. The smell completely gone. Never again will I have to throw out my shaker bottle, I believe, because the stainless steel just washes out so easily. It doesn't hold the smell. The Dolce Diet Sport Shaker, DolceDietShop.com. We only have a limited quantity of these right now. We might get more in the future. We might not. We might just make this a limited run. I got mine. My kids got theirs. Some of our VIP clients have theirs. If you're interested, it's really a fun one. Um, and then, Sam, then to finish off the night, I'll have the way I sleep with creatine and glutamine, and I'll go home and I'll eat whatever Brandy's making, and she always makes really good living lean-style meals. Um, boom! Dave B., what's up, man? Making a big pot of polenta. Hell yeah, baby. Um, Sam says, in New York in March, Brandy said she could send a mug over to the hotel for me. You know we will, bro. Just Brandy, Lauren, Jennifer, Gabby, they have that on lockdown. If you ask me to do it, it's going to end up in the back of my car. So it's going to end up in my gym bag. I'm that dude. Thank God I have an amazing team um, who helps us. But happy to do so, man. Happy to take care of you, brother. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Victor? Good to see you, man. Dolce woke up and chose violence. Yes. It is very important for us to stand up for what we believe in, to stand up for the truth, and do not allow the bullies to bully those who cannot stand up for themselves. That's what I am doing. That's what I believe my position to be. Um, Quick says, bro, you didn't go hard enough. I keep going. And it's like, you know, and I get it. It's Mark's show and, and Seema's show and Andrew's show. And they have to have these guys and gals on the show. And I think they had to kind of, I, they got a little uncomfortable because of as, as they weren't expecting me to be so honest and so real, which is very rare. And I, I think that they got a little uncomfortable with that, which I understand. And they had to kind of like push back. And then I felt like we got off topic. They kind of changed the topic where I, I would have liked to have gone deeper, especially with the lane stuff, but it's their show. I was happy to be there. Um, how do you feel about Jeff Cavallari? You know, I don't know Jeff very well. We're uh, Jeff is friends with Joe DeFranco. I'm friends with Joe DeFranco. Um, I don't know Jeff personally. I know he's got a massive YouTube channel. You know, Jeff gets a lot of heat because he puts out a lot of redundant content. But don't we all? I mean, don't we all? Like, he, he, there's only so many things that you can say in so many ways. So I, I like Jeff. I don't know Jeff. I like Jeff. Um, down 13 pounds in a month, and I look and feel better than I have in years on your program. Eating earth, grown nutrients seems like common sense. Yes, I love this. I love this. Boom, Bicep of Truth makes a special appearance right there. Um, he does very approachable. I don't know what that means. Captain Barrow says, looking forward to the Tucker Carlson interview. Me too, man. Me too. I can't wait. That's going to be interesting. Um, just got my blood work back from Merrick this morning. How does one follow up the consult to discuss? Um, T at 484, bro, bro. Um, send it, dude, send it to me. Frankie, you got my email address, right? Send me an email, man. Send me an email. We'll get it set up. I look forward to it. Or just shoot me a text. We'll get, we, don't worry. We'll get you bumped up. Is 12 hours long enough to be effective for intermittent fasting? I would... I wouldn't call it intermittent fasting. I would say you're in a fasted state, but I wouldn't use the term intermittent fasting. You're, you're fasted, which means you have a repressed insulin activity, which is what we're looking for. Um, stainless steel was invented in Sheffield, England, where I'm from, right on. I hope you're getting some royalties for every sale of the Dolce Diet Sport Shaker at DolceDietShop.com. Get that. Um, is it okay to eat red meat as your main protein source daily? It can be. It might not always be. So I would say be very fat phobic when it comes to red meat. I eat almost zero fat red meat. I eat the extra lean sirloin from certified Piedmontese. 
You can use promo code Dolce to save 25% on your order. I get no kickback, no commission from that. To be clear, that is passed directly on to you. But at Piedmontese.com, that's the one that I use. Their extra lean sirloin is incredible. I don't want the fat. I don't want the fat. I'll go into that on a different podcast. Will the Black Pack make a return? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. It's it's a it was a lot of hard work to get those out. We sold through. We had a quite a bit of those that we sold through, but maybe there may be. Um, Victor says, Mike, I'm currently doing one hour of list six days a week. My question is, how much list is too much? Can I progress to two hours a day while I burn way more fat or just waste more time? Are there better options? Walking is never a bad thing. Now, what we say is typically, you know, 45 to 90 minutes is like the peak fat burning zone um, phase. But like 45 minutes is ideal. 45 minutes of list per day, you're burning fat at amazing rate. 60 minutes, cool. But passing farther than 90 minutes or so, now if you're breaking it up into two 60-minute sessions, I think that's amazing. Unless you really just enjoy walking, and I'll never deter that. But if you're trying to maximize muscle tissue, I might say let's tone it down a little bit. Let's break those up into two 45-minute sessions instead of one two-hour session. Um, I ten, What's up, brother? Reach out to Gabby. I haven't gotten a respect response back in a couple of days, maybe a week ago, I'll reach out to Gabby and find out. I'll, Gabby's been away for a little bit, so I'll, I'll jump in for you. I apologize for that. Um, but, you know, Gabby's been off the grid for a little while. Lane is a pile of dookie. I don't know how any other way to really say it. he treats others as an indicator. Man, Quicks, I agree 100%. That is, in my opinion, he is a terrible human being, in the opinion of many other people that I know. It's very, if you just listen to him, you're like, oh, and read the comments, read the way he treats people. Anyone who questions him, watch the way Lane treats them. You should just look at the way Lane treats the people who live inside his house or used to live inside his house. That's all you have to know about a person. There's a reason for that. Down 16 pounds from three weeks to shred it. Just started living lean program feeling amazing. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Of all the harmful chemicals and toxins, all of the harmful chemicals are toxic sort of fat. That's why I don't know why people love fatty meats. It's because of these carnivore clowns and the keto clowns. They just want to eat their bacon and their burgers and their cheese and pretend like it's healthy. We know it's not. And right about now, over the next few years, we see the ill effects coming out, right? Sean Baker just posted a video that, hey, my, my cholesterol's kind of, kind of really high. And I think that it kind of might be not a great thing. Hmm. I don't know, but it might be. It is. Talk to any cardiologist. They're like, yeah. I think his, his like LDL is somewhere around 200. Yeah, that's not good. Talk, I'm not a cardiologist. I talk to a shit ton of them though. I read all the, all, all the evidence. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Um, check to see if your local Whole Food has bison sirloin. Forgot the brand. I think ours does. The, the one I go to does have bison. But I'll tell you what, you go to certified Piedmontese, you never want to eat any other type of meat again. The certified Piedmontese grass-fed, grass-finished beef is freaking incredible. It's delicious. It's, it is, it, it's ruined any other meat for me. Truly, go and check it out, piedmontese.com. Use the promo code Dolce to save 25%. I do not get a kickback or a commission for your use of that. So use it or don't use it. Save 25% and get free shipping if you do use it, though. So there you go. 
Guys and gals, I appreciate you being here. Definitely give this video a like, leave a comment below. Let's get this back into the algorithm and then go over and watch Mark Bell's Power Project podcast with myself on there. Make sure you give that video a thumbs up and leave a comment saying something good about me in there and then battling the trolls because there's some trolls in there too. Let's mobilize our amazing community over there and let's spread the truth. Let's help people live better lives. Let's stand up against the bullies that are pushing us around. They're trying, not us around, but they're pushing people around. They're taking advantage of what's happening out there in the world and not on our watch, right? We need to stand up. We need to be strong. We need to tell the truth. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here. That's what we do here every day. I appreciate you. We got here. We got um, Aiton says the DD certification seminar was truly worth more than what you pay for. I highly recommend attending. Mike delivers incredible knowledge. Boom. Another bicep of truth. Bang. Popping up in there for you, brother. I appreciate you, man. So awesome having you in and now having you as a Dolce Diet certified coach. We got big things coming up into the future. All right, guys and gals, it is time for me to go. This was supposed to be a 20-minute stream. I'm a little late. 